Hello everyone and welcome back to Armour. We are playing Armour. Amazing. This is Armour Reforger. It just came out the other day. Uh, it's had some mixed reviews on Steam. Uh, so this video I'm just going to have a little, a little showcase of the game. What I think of it and why I think paying £25 for this probably isn't really worth it at the minute. Um, but basically all this game is, is just showcasing the new um, Bohemia Interactive's uh, Infusion Engine. So essentially, this isn't Armour 4, but when Armour 4 does come out, this is the engine that they'll be using. But I've, I've been playing a lot of this game recently, um, since it's come out. Just testing it, seeing the map. There's a lot to see. I have been having so much fun exploring the map. Um, there's, there's, they've added a few vehicles in, a lot of different weapons. I will admit though, there is one thing that I really don't like about the game. I just feel like your character seems very clunky. Because they've made this game compatible for consoles, this game's very, very clunky. It doesn't feel like a milsim anymore. It's hard to explain. But there's um, there's a lot of interactive stuff here. So the, the video you're watching in the background now, this was actually me just making a little mission, so to speak. I just plopped a bunch of AI down and tested to see what it was like. But you even notice that in the car, they actually you actually see your character change gear, which is pretty cool. And go down gears and things. Now you can you can place a lot of objects, so I placed a couple I placed a couple of objects on the airfield just to see how they were. Um, I put a bunch of vehicles down. I put down a medical uh, center thing. I had this uh, camo tarp that I put over some vehicles. Overall, pretty cool. The AI are a bit scuffed. A typical AI in armor and armor games. If anyone remembers the AI in any armor game, they either have like pinpoint vision or like this guy here he's just spinning on the spot why is he just walking spinning in circles who knows Bohemia any answer probably not but I mean the AI, AI is a bit scuffed now when they hear gunshots from an enemy they will just walk towards those gunshots if you're in a building they will enter the building to try and find the source of those gunshots so at this point I started having a nice little shootout with the enemies as did my uh, AI friends now here, this is where you see the intelligence of the AI. They're getting shot at by these these enemies over here, these Soviet enemy uh, enemies that I'm just trying to snipe out with this uh, M21. And you can see them just strolling along. Well look, they just walk towards it. Don't take cover, don't do anything. Everyone on the map just crouches and walks towards the gunshots. Um, it's, it's a little dull, I'm not going to lie. Like a little bunch of like literal NPCs, literal NPCs. It's like, oh. But the gunplay, like I did previously mention, it does seem clunky. I don't feel like you have as much. It feels more like an. How do I say this? It doesn't feel as good as Armor 3. I'm going to just say it. The gunplay in Armor 3 just seems really, really good. This seems a bit more. It's definitely tailored towards console. Let's put. I'm just going to put it straightforward. It's, it's a console game now. Which is fine if you're a console player, but a game like this, ugh, I don't know. I just think it it needs it needs a mouse and keyboard. Personally, like all the controls on the keyboard need to be used. So here I've got up uh, close and personal with an LMG to try and attack out some of the enemies on the airfield. Just went full hand with it, <laughs> mowing down some AI. Now they don't have their pinpoint accuracy like they used to. But normally on Armour 3, you stand out in the open like this with AI in front of you, you'd be one one tap and dead. Um, so they don't seem to be as, like, um, qui uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Aimbots. <laughs> they don't seem to be um, aimbots like they used to be. But I think. The one thing I want to take away from this game is the atmosphere. It does feel like you're in a gunfight. Apart from the gun actual controls, it does feel like you're in a gunfight. You've got the traces whizzing past you, you've got the sounds in both of your ears when you've got your headset on. Um, you know, just the level of detail on this game is insane. Let, let's look at some other clips. So here I've got in a Humvee, and this is where we start to shoot some of the bugs. <laughs> this bug here I thought was pretty funny. My hands just like completely messed up. My car did a little bit of a, a flip. 
it just got stuck and I couldn't drive anywhere. I was, this was this was me reversing. I was, so at this point I was reversing, and my car just suddenly wanted to do this. Um, I thought I'd get the gunner seat. It worked, and my arms were still doing that same thing. It's a bit odd. Um, so I got out. I shot the Humvee, and then this happened. It just rolled over. It was suddenly stuck for ages. I sh one bullet into it, and it rolled over. But look at the ocean, look how nice that looks. That's insane. Uh, I found a tunnel, this little cave. It's not really a tunnel, it's just a cave. And it's, I don't know what the hell's meant to be in here, like a homeless place, like what's all this cardboard on the floor? It's weird. But then look what happens, graphical bug. I don't know what that is, it just went black, completely black, no light whatsoever in this in this little uh, cave. But that's, I think, you know, early access, beta test, who knows? <laughs> Who knows what the excuse is, but I found a couple of those little bugs on the map. But I think I have, I have had so much fun exploring this map. There's such good little details everywhere. Like for example, I was just walking around, found these ruins. I stopped to just look at the scenery. Like look at that, it just looks so cool. Like, imagine I just having a base here or something like an Exile mod on eventually one day. I'll be so good. And I was like, oh, you can go downstairs. Let's go down and see what it is. And I thought, oh, another cave. And it's like a James Bond house. It's like an ex James Bond house, you know. Imagine having like a little submersible submarine to go out on, or your scuba gear to go out 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 to sea. And that that'd be so cool. So that was a pretty nifty little place that I found. I then wanted to test the the uh, penetration of these this, these guns. So I was just exploring some town, looking around the buildings, and I started shooting through stuff. So I shot through a door, and as you could imagine, it went through. It went to the the, the wall behind it. I tried some of the actual objects, like this, this uh, wardrobe, but it went through the wooden wardrobe. You can see them going onto the uh, the wall behind it. I tried to shoot through the ceiling, see if it would go upstairs, but it didn't, which is it expected, which is good. Um, and yeah, I just I just kind of tested smashing, shooting things, see what would happen. And, uh, overall, it seemed it seems pretty good. The windows you can obviously smash. And I just like again I, every time I go somewhere, I'm like, oh my god, look at that scenery! I look at that; it looks so nice. <laughs> it's like perfect. I then found this hostel. I think it's meant to be Hostinic. It's like a bar thing. I don't know. You can play the piano. I was like, oh, that's pretty crazy. I can play a piano in armor. Mad. Imagine just being like on an Exile server and walking around, and you see someone playing a piano in a building. I did try to shoot it to see if that would actually not let me play it, but I still could. Um, glass bottles, can't smash them, not happy. I saw all those glass bottles there and I thought, oh, I could smash those. Nope. Um, so I was just, like I said, I was exploring the map, having a little look around. So I found a crane in one of the harbours. I think this was in St. Pierre, one of the, the southern coast, I think. And I thought, oh, you can go up it, let's have a little look. Went to the top, and in this game, you can jump. You couldn't jump in armor, you could vault, but now you can jump, you can climb pretty much anything. So I was like, oh, I can climb up here, nice. I went into like, the uh, the driver's seat, had a little look around. I just love the ocean, man, like, look at that ocean. Like, just look, oh, oh, it's so realistic. Um, but I couldn't get up to the roof, so I teleported up there, and I just like messed around on the top. And then I found another bug. When you're like, stuck, I got stuck here, and look at my arms. Oh, stretch Armstrong. Crazy. Look <laughs> at those arms. Oh, mad. Like I say, it wouldn't be an armor game about them, would it? I was just having a look at this little like shallow thing, whatever the hell this is. A little lake outside. And you can notice here the light difference. So because I'm inside, it's very light outside. But as I go to the window, it gets darker. Like it gets more you know, detailed. But what we're going to do here, I'm not going to speak for the next like, few minutes. I want to let you just enjoy the atmosphere, the visuals. Because night time is insane. The lighting effects are insane. So yeah, like, I'm going to shut up now and just, just enjoy this for a few minutes.
Один. Иду на контакт. Отделение. So there we go, that, that's the night time. Doesn't, isn't that cool? Like the lighting effects. Like in this warehouse here, the lighting just looks incredible. The shadows are amazing. This is going to be so good. This is going to be so good when it comes out. Like well, when Armour 4 comes out with this engine. It's going to look incredible. But um, I haven't actually played anything else on this game. This is literally just as editor mode. I've gone around, put plots myself down on the map, explored some places, had a few shootouts and things. But um, in a future video, I'll, I'll try the online. I'll try some actual like missions and things, scenarios. But yeah, um, I'm going to end this video here. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.